Hi everybody and welcome back. Today we are here at Disney's California Adventure to check out all the new foods at Plaza de Familia. So come along with us on this episode of The Walker Chronicles. Alright, so for our first item here, we ordered the plant-based chorizo quesadilla. It says it comes with salsa roja and escabeche, but ours came with an avocado crema, which I believe Marina's gonna like. Let's try this. Alright, I think the salsa roja is this La Victoria sauce. Um, I'm just guessing though, because that's what was in the description, and this was the only salsa roja that I see. Uh, looks pretty good. I like plant-based stuff. Um, Chris does not like any sauces on his stuff, so we got this separate. Otherwise, it would be drizzled all over it. All right? Let's dip it in the sauce. I love avocado sauce too. There we go. Okay, so the piece of the quesadilla I had, the, the wedge that I had, had a lot of cheese in it. Uh, more cheese than it did chorizo flavor. So I kind of went in for a, a bigger bite. This is a really good option for non-meat eaters. I'm not afraid of plant-based foods. The chorizo flavor on this one though, I think is a little lackluster. I need a little bit more of a punch of chorizo in here for plant-based lovers, uh, non-meat eaters. This is a really good option. All right, so it's my turn to try out this quesadilla. I normally do like the plant-based chorizo they have here. If you guys remember during some of the food festivals, they have the queso fundido, which we all loved. And I'm assuming it's the same chorizo from Impossible. Well, let's try it. All right, so I just took my first bite. The overall flavor is very good. The chorizo has a little spice to it. There is lots of cheese. I think it is actually plant-based cheese as well. The part that gets me is the consistency of the cheese. The chorizo is nice and crumbly, but the consistency is, I don't know how to describe it, but it doesn't taste like melted cheese. I know that's what it's supposed to be. Like I said, the flavor's there. If you are a non-meat eater, this would be a great option. Like I said, the flavors are there, but the texture for me, which is important, is just not there. All right, so up next is the Chili Verde Chicken Flautas with avocado spread, shredded lettuce, crema queso fresco, tomatillo salsa, pickled onion served with Spanish rice, and pinto beans. First, let me start by saying this plate looks beautiful. I love the pickled onions on there, a nice punch of uh, pink color to it, uh, the green salsa verde, the cilantro, it looks beautiful. I'm gonna start off with the beans, and uh, I'll taste these and give you a, a up or a down. Maybe give you a little detail. You can tell a lot about Mexican food just by the beans. Start here. The beans get a thumbs up for me. They're seasoned really nicely. They're not soupy. They're cooked right. I really like the beans. Uh, they, they did a good job here. Let's try the rice. Sometimes the rice can be overcooked, undercooked. Seem pretty fluffy to me. It looks good. Let's give it a shot. The rice gets a thumbs up as well. Uh, I, with just the beans and the rice, if I had a tortilla, I would wrap these up, throw some salsa on it, and call it a home run. Let's try these uh, flautas now. Look at this. The salsa verde is there. See how much chicken is inside. The cotija cheese. This looks good. All right. This is probably gonna be like a favorite from here. The chicken is delicious. The flauta, it's a flour tortilla that's been fried. It's been fried to perfection. The salsa, the chili verde, it's nice and spicy. Um, the cotija cheese, nice little salty bite to it. There's some lettuce on top for some more texture. The pickled onion, a little bit of acidity. I love this. 
I do have one critique. I wish this had a little bit more chicken on the inside. Just a little bit. Other than that, this is fantastic. All right, so it's my turn. Let's try these beans. Marina said they were good, and I am a stickler for beans. Those are very, very good beans. Like you said, that would make a great burrito. And maybe there's something in our burrito, we'll have to see. Try a little bit of the rice. Even the rice is nice and seasoned. That's actually very good. Now, Marina went gaga over this flauta, so let's see. I'm leaving pretty much everything that comes with it on there, with the exception of the pickled stuff, but let's try. That was delicious. Marina was not kidding. Those chicken flautas are delicious. And basically everything on there except for the pickled onion, I thought was great. Like Marie said, the cheese was good. The, uh, the chili verde salsa does have some heat to it. Not like crazy heat, but it just adds some flavor to it. It was, it was delicious. Like I said, the, the chicken was nice and tender, flavorful. I would love it if that was loaded with chicken. It would have been absolutely perfect. But this is a, this is a great meal. So next up is the carnitas burrito, which is pork carnitas, Spanish rice, pinto beans, and salsa verde with house-made tortilla chips. All right, carnitas burrito. Uh, it's got beans that were good. It had the rice that was good on the last meal. Uh, looks like some salsa verde in there as well. I know this is kind of a, a big, it's a tall order for uh, Disneyland to uh, get right, but we'll hope for the best. So on a scale from one to five, I would give this like a three. Uh, the carnitas, I don't really taste the pork in here. I taste a lot of that salsa verde, uh, which is good. Um, the rice in here, and like I said, the, the rice is the rice that, that we had on the last entree, and the beans, kind of the same thing. But I wish the carnitas had a little bit more oomph to it. Maybe they're not seasoned right, or maybe there's just too much going on here. Maybe take the salsa verde out, and maybe uh, if you could uh, like add it to the burrito, or maybe dip it in a little bit. I think that would have probably been preferred. But I think a lot of the ingredients that are in here are kind of taken away from the carnitas taste. Uh, yeah, so I'm giving this a three. All right, so I was really looking forward to this. Let's see if I like it any better than Marina did. All right, so I took a couple of bites. The first bite I had was nothing but onions, so that was not a good bite. I took the second bite. I did get some carnitas in there, and I would say the carnitas, what I had, did taste good, but I wouldn't call this a carnitas burrito. This is more of a beans and rice and salsa verde burrito with a hint of carnitas in it. I think this could be really good if they just change up some of the ratios, like Marina said, maybe take the salsa verde out because it's very overpowering. But adds a lot of carnitas, then some rice and beans, and like Marina said, maybe give it the salsa verde on the side. So I would say out of one to five, I'd give this a three as well. So for our last item here today is going to be the tacos. These are sirloin beef tacos with escabeche, Spanish rice, and pinto beans. Okay, so the plate comes with beans and rice. This is the same beans and rice that came with the other dish. So I'm not gonna try those out right now. It's all about the tacos. Now these tacos have cilantro and pickled onion. Chris, you're gonna hate it. Uh, we'll pick those off for him. Uh, but I can tell you by the color of the meat. So the meat is not something like it was grilled on like a barbecue or with flame. It, it's a little gray. Uh, I would have preferred it to be on a grill um, with a little like caramelization on it. Uh, so either the pan was overcrowded with meat because there is no browning to it, but let's give it a shot. So, uh, street taco. Uh, uh, one to five, again, maybe a three. The meat is really chewy. It is a sirloin cooked on a grill. Would have made it a little bit more tender. Um, the seasoning is okay. I do like the acidity of the pickled onion, the cilantro. I'm a fan of cilantro, so it it needed a little bit of brightness there. Um, there are two tortillas. Those were pretty tender, uh, but overall, I could have used maybe a pico de gallo or some kind of a, a 
sauce on top. But overall, uh, from one to five, I give this a three. All right, so Marina was not a big fan of these things. I love a good street taco. Let's see how these things taste. Okay, so the first thing that I got out of this was I hit those tortillas, they were good. I did get a good chunk of meat in there and it was very flavorful. It is a little bit chewier. Um, like Marina said, it doesn't really have any grill marks on it. So it has no extra crunch that I would expect for it. I know these are considered street tacos and I've definitely had better tacos from the street than I have here. Yeah, I just, they're fine, but it seems more like a, something designed towards a child than it does towards a regular meal. They're fine. I did take off the pickled uh, onions, but like Marita said, adding some salsa maybe to it, which they do have over there as a condiment, would help this out a little bit, but yeah, not a giant fan. All right, so we just finished up eating all those delicious meals over at Plaza de Familia. What do you think, Marina? Well, what did you think was your favorite? My favorite, definitely the chicken flautas. That was a chef's kiss. They were, they were really good. I have to admit, Marina got a second order of those and they had some sour cream or some creme on it. So I'm glad I didn't <laughs> get that part, but the ones I did have were absolutely delicious. Uh, what, uh, what was a miss? Street tacos. Wouldn't get them again. Yeah, I would agree. The street tacos were, yeah, the, just the meat. The meat was the problem. The tortilla was fine. The onions are pickled, which I prefer they weren't, but they were okay. And then the burrito, I think the burrito could be really good if they got the ratios proper. There was too much beans and rice, too much salsa verde, but all the individual components were quite good though. But uh, yeah, I think we had a really good time here. We did get to try some new things we haven't had before. I hope you guys enjoyed that as well. So we hope you like this video and if you did, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as it really helps our channel grow. And until next time, we will see you on the next episode of The, the Walker, Walker Chronicles. Chronicles.